Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2. It's early on Wednesday morning and Lucy is right now wide awake even though she's just hugging Jack who is still fast asleep. And something that I would like for Lucy to do before Jack goes to work is for her to go out and get some clothes for Heidi for whenever she will age up into a child or a child, a toddler. But something that I've realized is that Diego actually needs a bath and since Lucy actually feels pretty great and Diego right now is not sleeping, I'm thinking having her give a bath to Diego even though oh, you can't give a bath to the dog in this in this bathtub really all right so the bath that I was using that I was using was actually CC this one is from the game and we can actually wash Diego so I guess because of how the the curtain or actually the the door was made the dog just couldn't go through it so let's go ahead and give a bath to to Diego. Also something that you might realize is that now my sims and Diego also have shadows. That's because I'm using the graphic rules maker to make the sims to work correctly on, on my computer. And before I couldn't have the, the shadows but I found a, a fix which allows the sims to have shadows inside otherwise you know they have this awful black box just following them on the ground. But now we can actually have shadows so I'm really really happy about that. It's just going to improve I think the the game and oh Heidi is waking up. Also I'm pretty sure that Heidi will age up in this part which is why also I would like for Lucy to go and get some clothes for Heidi. Also something that I really want to do tonight so Wednesday evening is for both Jack and Lucy to go out on a date together so we will hire a nanny for her to keep an eye on Heidi and I will have Jack and Lucy go out together probably to a nightclub. Something that I was thinking also was to throw a birthday party for Heidi and invite of course all of their their friends, so Corey, Angie, Natasha, but also maybe invite Lisa, Shannon and Gilbert and try to make friends with them because, and I'm really sorry that it took me so long to finally understand that, but Jack to be able to get his promotion needs two more friends and Lucy I think needs one so thank you very much for letting me know how this worked because it really took me so long to understand for some reason. So yeah, thank you very much for that. Alright, so Diego finally got his bath, I think he's okay. Let's have Jack spend some time with his Daughter. Let's go cuddle Heidi. We can maybe play with her. In the meantime, oh, Lucy wants to go on a hike again, but I want for you to go somewhere. She's going to go by herself. She's just going to go out to get some clothes. All right, so is there a clothes shop here. I'm pretty sure there is. There's always a shop for clothes in the main neighborhood and I think this is the Frippery Frock. The Frippery Frock clothing store carries clothing for the entire family. A wonderful array of apparel awaits you at the Frippery Frock. Come in. So we're gonna go out and get some clothes for Heidi. Lucy has arrived at the Frippery Frock so let's go ahead and get in. Let's see what we can buy for Heidi. Um, I think I'm going to get her some everyday outdoor and PJs. I don't think she needs anything else. Also, Joe let me know that apparently toddlers could play in a leaf pile and we need to have one in the in the yard so that when Heidi will age up, we'll see how this interaction looks like because I've never seen this before. This was also something that I didn't know about. Alright, anyway, let's go and see for the toddlers what I have. I don't think I have that much custom content. I do have some dresses there. Also, something that I talk about a lot is that for my sims, usually I go with a color theme. Like for example for Lucy I went for a red color theme, like most of her clothes are red. For Heidi I was thinking light green and I guess this is highly influenced by the onesie that she, she was born with. So something like that actually could be sweet, although we are going to go through all of those gold months of autumn and winter, so I guess we should try to find something that's a little bit warmer for her, but I don't think she's going to be wearing her everyday outfit a whole lot anyway. Actually, there is this outfit that's sweet, although there are some mittens. I would have liked for her maybe to have something like that, but with some green in it. There's that as well, but I don't really like how big that is. There is this a little dress, but I don't know, it seems a little bit too girly for me. I really like that one. I really think that one is, is really cute, although it's not green, but you know, could work. Otherwise, otherwise it would be this one, but I think this one is a little bit too warm for the seasons that we are going to go through. So yeah, I think I'm gonna go for this one for her every day. Then the next one we're going to get is the PJs, which is probably the one that we'll see her in the most. I really like this animation of just, you know, the sims handing in the money. Really, really like that. So much detail in this game. Alright, let's see for the PJs. Well, 
apparently we could get this one. The yellow one is really cute. I mean, this one technically is blue, but I kind of like the ye the yellow one better. But you know what? Let's go for the yellow PJs. It's only 75 simoleons. It's not that expensive. And then for her outerwear. Oh, this one. This one has some green in it. This one is yellow. I feel like for her toddlerhood, maybe we could go for some yellow because this is actually the color that I've been picking so far, but there's not that many that many green outfits. There's this one though. You know what? I'm gonna go for this one because there's the green and I said that she was going to be wearing a lot of green. This one is 300 simoleons. Outerwears are very expensive. I guess I should have bought it as an everyday outfit. Maybe this would have been less expensive. And I think we have Aline Thomason who is... I think the the person who runs the the gardening club, so maybe we should go ahead and talk with her a little bit. Hello. Uh, let's go and ask about her interest. And we could definitely talk. Actually, let's talk about hobby. Let's go and talk about nature. And then... Well, we could definitely tell her a joke. But then I guess we could also talk about travels. How is your relationship with Aline? It's not that high. Maybe she could be actually the friend that she could make for, for her work. Oh, there is the good witch. Oh, well, apparently something is not going well between Aline and Lucy, so you know what, let's just, let's just drive home. Oh, people don't like Lucy over here. What is this? Oh, this is Cory. Cory doesn't like Lucy for some reason. <laughs> he just finds her repulsive. But yeah, apparently our relationship with Aline is not going well. That's too bad, we were at 5 before and now that we've talked with her, it's, an, it's at 1. So, it's definitely not going well. Lucy has arrived back home and I think I'm going to have her go on a hike because this is something that she really wants to do. So let's go, go hiking. She she can actually take Diego with her. I don't think Diego was sleeping. No, he was just eating food. That's fine. He's getting a little bit tired as well, but maybe going on a hike is going to tire him even more. How are you, Jack? Jack wants to play the piano and I guess I should have him talk with some sims. Oh, he's cleaning up everything in the house. That's sweet. Oh, I will have to have Lucy take care of her garden. She's also getting a little bit hungry, so maybe I should also have her take care of herself before she takes care of the garden. Let's go and have some cereals for breakfast. And look at that, she wants to go to a community lot. She really wants to get out of the house. She loves being with her daughter, she loves enjoying her new house and spending time in her garden, but she also wants to go out. She's losing enthusiasm in tinkering. Well, that's fine, I'm okay with it. As long as she's not losing enthusiasm in nature. Alright, so what we're going to do is go ahead and water many and then tend many. Jack is also getting a little bit hungry, so maybe now that you've played a little bit of the piano... He wants to become friends with Elisa. Maybe we should try to call Lisa to be one of those two friends that he needs for work. But yeah, I was about to say that I might skip on through most of the day because I'm just going to follow my sims once or actually... Stop and answer the phone. I just follow Jack and Lucy's wants and see what they want to do, but also take care of the garden, just focus a bit more on their hobbies and, you know, nothing too exciting. Just things that we've seen already. Oh my, it appears that Lucy has led the hike through a patch of poison ivy. Oh, she's going to be itchy. Who is this? Aurora Ibadi. We don't know this person, we have no relationship with them. But yeah, I was saying that I'm just going to do things that we've seen already, nothing too exciting, so... I'm just going to keep the exciting stuff for, for the part, you know, just keep it in the video. And apparently we have some bills to pay. Oh, she's going to be itchy. Maybe she needs to take a shower to get rid of that poison ivy, I'm not sure. Jack Scarpool has arrived, so Jack is going to leave for work and as I said, as soon as he comes back home, I'm going to have him and Lucy go out on a date. I will try and get the nanny before Jax come ho comes home. Jax? Jack comes home, sorry. And hopefully by then he will be in a good mood. He might need to take a shower maybe, but other than that, I really hope that he will be in a good mood for them to, to go and dance the night away in a nightclub in downtown. Alright, so we finally got the notification saying that Heidi's birthday was only a day away. It seems like only yesterday that the little, little bundle of joy came into this world. Oh, how quickly they grow up. Actually, it feels more like I've been waiting for her to age up for ages now, so I'm really, really excited to get her birthday. So tomorrow we will throw a birthday party for Heidi, which is really, really exciting. Also, the garden, just to let you know, is doing pretty well, except for these tomatoes here, which seems to be struggling, but I guess it's because these ones haven't been fertilized. Other than that, this toma tomato plant is very healthy, this cucumber is very healthy, and this strawberry is very healthy, which I'm really, really happy about. Hopefully we can get the produce soon, because 
you know, we're just at the beginning of autumn, but the cold days are going to arrive pretty quickly and I don't want for this for these plants to die. I want to be able to harvest them and get get all of those fruits and I think Heidi needs a diaper that needs a diaper change. I struggle to talk today, I'm sorry. But let's go ahead and clean up this bowl as well. And Jack is supposed to get home in an hour. So something that we should think of doing would be to call the service. Uh, services and we will go ahead and hire a nanny to keep an eye on Heidi as we're out. Also, I think Diego's birthday is... Yes, he's going to age up at the same time as Heidi. That's actually pretty sad. Lucy, don't put your baby on the ground. Put Heidi in her crib. Come on. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and hire a nanny. I'd be happy to take care of your little ones. Just so that you know, my fee is 10 simoleons and then an additional 15 simoleons per hour. If you'd like, I can keep track of your schedule in my calendar so that I'll always be there for your kids when you can't be. Did you want to go ahead and set that up or did you just want to hire me just for now? I just want the nanny for now because the nannies in The Sims 2 are very annoying and very glitchy. So let's just have the nanny for now and we'll see you later if we need... We need their service again. All right, so Jack is coming back home. He needs to use the bathrooms and take a shower. So I'm just going to have him do that while we wait for, for the nanny. How is Diego? Diego is amazing. Lucy, I guess you can just take a quick nap in preparation for this outing that we'll have. All right, so the nanny just arrived. Erica Phelps, hello. And everything got dark and I was like, what happened? But it's just because Lucy fell asleep on the couch. So now I think it's time for both Lucy and Jack to go out together. I'm probably just going to wait for them to get to the nightclub to start the date. So let's go somewhere. Lucy is going to be so tired. I mean, she had a full day. Let's go and take Jack with us. And we're going to go to downtown. Let's see. There's the crypto nightclub. I don't know if I really want to go to this one. Although it's been a while since I've been to this one. Well, even though it sounds very creepy, I really want to go to the crypto nightclub. When darkness falls and the dancing calls, the crypto nightclub thou shalt recall. Sponsored by the Rain Tree Society and Gauthier than thou productions. Okay. But yeah, it's been a while since I've been to this nightclub and the others. I feel like I go there all the time. So yeah, let's go to the crypto nightclub. Why did the nanny just hand Heidi to, to Jack? She's like, hey, I'm done. Bye. <laughs> no, not. Well, Heidi is going to spend the evening on the ground. On the tile as well. She must be so cold. Come on, take care of our baby. There you go. Jack and Lucy just arrived at the Crypto Night Club and there's even a photo booth. So if we want, we could actually have a little bit of a woohoo around here. And I just checked Lucy's wants and she actually wants to buy new clothes. So maybe she would like to get a new style, which I wouldn't be against, to be honest, because she's been wearing those clothes since the beginning of the series, just like Jack. So maybe the two of them would like to have a new style. Now, something that I really wanted for them to do was to go on... A real date. So let's go and ask out on a date. Just so that you know we have some uh, a little bit of an idea of what they would like to do together. Just enjoy a night out. It's been a while actually since I've, since they went on a date. Because technically since Heidi was born they've just been working, taking care of her and not really spending any time together. So let's see. She wants to entertain Jack. So let's go and entertain him. Let's go and tell him a dirty joke. She wants to dine with him. Are you hungry? No. She wants to play with Jack. Let's go and play together. Let's go tickle. What does he want? He wants to get a picture taken with Lucy. We could actually. I don't think they've taken pictures together. So let's get in. And there's the vampire, of course. Count Breton Danaher. And let's ask Jack to get in. And we could hang them up at the house. And oh, we could try for another baby. Let's go and take a picture. Let's go and take romantic pictures. Oh, look at that. This is really cute. No, don't be attracted to anyone else. What is this vampire gonna do? Be admired. Be careful, Jack. This is a vampire. They're dangerous. Oh, they're dancing together. What are you doing? Be appreciated. Okay. I'm really scared of this vampire. I feel like he's going to bite one of them. Uh, Lucy wants to kiss Jack. Well, let's go ahead and kiss each other. I was about to have them go away from this vampire, but thankfully the vampire went away. I guess he felt like he was a little bit too much. As for Jack, he wants to flirt with Lucy. He wants to give a back rub to Lucy, hug Lucy and entertain Lucy. Can we make out? Let's go make out. And then flirt with Jack. 
Let's goose him. Who has the pictures? Lucy has the pictures in her inventory. Okay, so I'll put the pictures on the empty wall that I talked about, I think, in the last part. That'd be nice. I wonder if you can take pictures with your children in the in the photo booth. Although, of course, we won't come here with Heidi. I think there is a more family... Family kind of spot where we could go. Oh, Lucy wants to woohoo in a car with Jack. She wants to kiss Jack. He's still thinking that someone broke into their house. It's going to dance. He wants to woohoo in a car as well. And Lucy wants to have a dream date with Jack. Well, I guess it's going well, you know? Although they've spent the entire night next to the photo booth. Maybe they should go here. So far, they're having a good time. There's even a bar. Maybe we could order something to drink. Can we dance together? Let's go and dance together for a little bit. I mean, the date is going well. We still have some time. They're having a good time. Look at them. <laughs> <laughs> She's even making fun of this guy. Who is this? Steven. Steven Tinker. Let's go and appreciate. Let's admire, admire Jack and kiss him. Let's go and suck face. Oh, she's afraid of being rejected by Jack for a woohoo in the photo booth. Maybe we should go and woohoo in the photo booth. I don't think we've seen that yet, actually. And they're just making fun of people who are dancing. Okay, Jack wants to make out with Lucy. Oh, she's serenading him. She's not that bad of a singer. Let's go and make out. Do you remember when things weren't going so well between them? Well, I guess that's quite far behind them now. <laughs> you know what? Even though they both want to go and woohoo in the car, we've seen the woo the car woohoo already, so I kind of want for them to go into the photo booth and see. The photo booth woohoo. What are you going to tell about travels? Don't talk to the vampire. Let's join Jack. And Lucy is still making fun of people. And you know what? I kind of want to try something. You know, they're having a good time, they're enjoying their night together, and I actually just checked how many days they had until they aged up, and they only have 16 days, and I wanted for them to have a couple babies, so let's go and, you know, just try for a baby and see what happens. And everyone is running. <laughs> well then! I actually didn't plan this one, it was just like... You know what? Why not? Let's just try. <laughs> well, there we are. Lucy actually needs to use the bathroom, so let's go in. Where are the women? I think this is the women, so let's go and use the bathrooms. Do you need anything, Jack? Jack is doing so well. Look at that. It's a dream date. They had a good night together. There was a bat. Is that... Is that the vampire? Is that the vampire? It's a bat. Or... Has it been called by the vampire? I feel like it's Count... Brendan something. It's him! Oh, I didn't know that vampires could change into bats in The Sims 2. Look at that, it's 3 in the morning. Maybe they should think about heading back home. Lucy wants to make out with Jack, so let's go ahead and do that. Maybe they could go and dance a little bit again on the dance floor. But yeah, I think they're very much in love right now. It's really cool. Then let's go here together and dance. Once again, you know, they're having a dream date. They're just having a good time. All right, let's go dance with Jack. Look at that, they just cannot keep their hands off each other. Let's go and dance together. How is their relationship? It's a very, very good relationship. Oh, look at that, she's even friends with her daughter. Are you friends with Heidi? He is friends with Heidi. That's cool. The vampire is so freaky here. But Lucy is actually getting really tired, so I guess it's time for them to end their date. Let's go ahead and end the date. Wow, that was about the best time I ever had with anybody. I really want to go out with you again. Please, oh please, oh please. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Cool. But yeah, I think it's time for the both of them to drive home. Jack and Lucy are back home, and right now it's mission get rid of the nanny. Alright, Lucy, you are very tired, so you're going to be the first one to go to sleep. As for you, Jack, you are going to dismiss the nanny. Hopefully this is going to work because usually I really struggle to get rid of the nanny. Look at that, she's just standing there by the doorway. Come on, just get away from here. There you go, let's go and dismiss. I don't know why, but it's always so difficult to get rid of the nanny. Bye-bye. Can you go? Heidi is asleep, you know, at least she's okay. So let's go ahead and sleep in pajamas. So what I'm gonna do, guys, is just resume tomorrow, probably when it's about the time where... Heidi is going to age up, or actually where, when we're going to throw her birthday party. It's the next morning, both Jack and Lucy are awake. Jack is right now on a walk with Diego, 
Lucy, she's in the bath. She actually was feeling very uncomfortable this morning after she ate her breakfast. She got some cereals and then she was feeling a little bit nauseous for some weird and unknown reasons. But something that I really want to do again with Lucy now that she's pregnant again is for her to stay in the... Oh, look at that! But yeah, I want for her to stay in the green because one of you guys let me know, and I'm really sorry that I cannot remember your name right now, but you let me know that a pregnant sim in The Sims 2 can actually die, and I do not want that to happen to Lucy. And she also wants to go hiking again, so let's go. Let's go on a hike. Also, I was thinking having Jack take a vacation day today so that he could be there for his daughter's birthday, since Heidi will age up around 6 p.m., and technically Jack is supposed to be... Uh, you know what? You're gonna go by yourself. Uh, Jack is supposed to be at work at 6 p.m. so I think he's just going to take the day off and this will let us a little bit of time for the birthday party for the socializing and I think we need to take care of the flowers around here and we do have some leaves to to rake and since Jack is going to take the day off today he can actually help Lucy out with the garden also I had Jack spend some time with Heidi this morning and the two of them became best friends so my goal is for Lucy to manage to get the best friend level with Heidi as well and she still wants to buy some new clothes so I might actually have her work on her on this skill I think she needs a charisma skill or something yeah maybe she could work on her charisma skill get that skill up and then I will save the new clothes buying new clothes so that maybe she could go and get a new style for herself and maybe we could also change her her hairstyle but I think I will keep that for next time because we already have quite a lot to do right now so maybe she could go and practice speech and does she want she wants to play on the couch although Lucy tends to struggle with the warmth of her body and Playing on the couch can actually get the sims hot and look at that, she's hot again. Alright, so what happened to you this time on your hike? While on the hike, Lucy noticed a bug and was able to quickly capture it, later discovering that it is a hunt person spider. Ugh, it has been placed in Lucy's bug box. But let's see that bug box actually. Oh, and we do have the pictures in Lucy's inventory. Let's put them on the wall. There you go. That's sweet, I like that. But yeah, let's see the bug box, I think. Is this a bug collection? Can we see something inside? We can't see the bugs. Oh, we do! Oh, we can see... Oh, there's so many spiders. There's some butterflies and just some beetles. Can this be hung up on the wall? No, it can only be put somewhere. Well, I guess for now it has to be on, on the coffee table. She can view it. Oh, she's getting hungry as well, so maybe she should eat something. Alright, so Jack is supposed to go to work in an hour, but I'm going to make sure that he doesn't so that he can take a vacation day. Because in The Sims 2 to take a vacation day, I think the only way to do it is just to not go into the carpool and there you go, you can take a vacation day. Alright, so let's see, we can see all of those beetles. Oh, that's cool. We only have 5 out of 30. Oh, I think Jago just aged up. This dog is starting to show his age. Perhaps it's time to settle down and enjoy some lazy days in the sun. Oh, well, he doesn't really look like he has changed. Oh, it's just like in The Sims 4. It doesn't tell you when your pets are aging up. That's frustrating. And hopefully the chair is going to be comfortable enough for Lucy to feel comfortable, but... Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's going to be comfortable enough. So maybe Jack will have to be the one taking care of the garden because I really want for Lucy to just relax, enjoy her time, be in the best mood possible. Poor Jack, he's taking the day off and here he is having even more work to do. Oh, someone's calling. Oh, she's feeling sick. Look at that. All right, Jack, I don't want for you to go to work. Hey, Lucy, is Jack available to talk? No. Look at that, she's so uncomfortable. Does Jack know how to make the grandma's comfort soup? No, well, now he knows. So something that I might actually have him do is prepare this grandma's comfort soup because this is going to help Lucy out. Oh, look how nice he is. He's actually taking care of the bushes and everything. Also something that I was thinking about, because as I said uh, yesterday in the game, both Jack and Lucy have 16 days until they age up into elders, but there is this item, this reward, this one, the Elixir of Life, which I'm sure both of them can buy, and I think if you are in the gold for your aspiration meter, or even in the platinum, which Lucy is right now, I think this can actually give you up to 8 days 
more in the current life stage that you are in. So I might actually buy this for the two of them and have them drink from it when they will get a little bit too old and just keep them as adult for a little bit longer. Oh, look at Jack. He's just keeping the garden in shape. That's so sweet. How is the garden here? Okay, so I think Jack needs to water many and tan many. And Heidi seems to be okay. How are you, Lucy? She's getting hungry and I'm... I'm sure she's bored, but she knows that there's something changing inside her. Okay, let's go and clean that up and let's have some lunch again. Let's go and get a chef salad. And then, Jack, as soon as you're done taking care of the garden, I'd like for you to go ahead and take a bath, use the bathrooms, just take care of yourself because look at that. He's taking care of the garden and he's getting tired, but I think he's getting tired less quickly than Lucy would right now. Oh, that's so cool. She's mixing everything together. Alright, so Jack is done taking care of the garden. Right now, he's just going to go ahead, use the bathrooms and take a shower. Lucy is on taking care of her daughter, which I really, really like. But as soon as he's done taking care of himself, I'm going to have him go ahead and throw a party. And we're going to throw a birthday party for Heidi. And there you go, they just became best friends. Alright, so we can invite up to eight guests. Uh, of course, I want to invite Corey. Uh, where is Natasha? Natasha is there, so let's go and invite her. Uh, we can invite Alan, even though technically her relationship with Lucy apparently didn't go as well yesterday, but I think she was getting along pretty well with Jack, so we could actually invite her. I think there was Patrick. Patrick Das, yes. I think he was also getting along pretty well with with Jack. Uh, who else can we invite? I'm not going to invite a vampire. Where is Angie? Angie is there, so let's go and invite Angie. Uh, we can invite Lisa, and where's Sharon? Oh, but this is Alan Smith. This is the the robber we had, or the burglar we had a couple of parts ago. Uh, where's Sharon? I don't find Sharon. Maybe because he didn't introduce himself with her? Oh, that sucks. Well, then let's go and invite Elizabeth. And maybe we can invite Sharon through Lucy. I guess that's enough. Two, four, six, seven. We have seven guests. I guess that's enough. The guests are all invited, bring out the refreshments and the latest tunes, it's party time. Alright, so let's go and get one of those birthday cakes. Let's see if we can find a yellowish or a greenish one. Uh, there is the... this one, which looks kind of greenish. I kind of like this one, it, it has a whole bunch of colors and everything, it's very happy. And then let's have Lucy put Heidi back in the crib before she uses the bathrooms. And I want for you to invite Sharon. Although she's going to be very tired, so the socializing might not go as well. Alright, Jack, let's go and talk to Lisa. You want to be friends with her, so let's go and admire. Maybe we can talk, let's go and entertain. Let's make sure we do not flirt with her, because I do not want that to happen. Let's talk about music and dance, and maybe we can talk about fitness. She did not like the admiring, apparently. Let's go and talk about art. Oh, look at that, he's socializing with Corey on his own. Alright, so the party is not that great. Oh, apparently he just became best friends with Corey. Uh, let's maybe try to tell a joke. He wants to have five best friends, we could try. Let's just try for now to have a couple more friends. Alright, where is Sharon? Sharon Worth, there you go. Uh, let's just invite her over, maybe not her entire household. Uh, let's just chat with her. And maybe we can talk about the nature hobby as well. It sounds great, I'll be there in a few. Thanks. How is your relationship with Char with Lisa going? Okay, he's really not attracted to her, then why do you want to be friends with her if you apparently do not like her at all? It's 6 p.m.? Okay, wait, you need to bring Heidi to the cake. Oh, hopefully having Heidi age up is going to help the party a little. Let's go and chat with uh, with Sharon. Entertain, let's go and joke. She's actually pretty close from being friends with Sharon, so if they manage to become friends today, Lucy might be able to get a promotion next time she goes to work. But it's birthday time. I wonder if we'll have the, the little cutscene, but I think because we threw a birthday party, this is going to trigger the, the cutscene. Oh no, we don't have the cutscene! Lucy is very tired. And there we go! You ready, Jeb? We do have the cutscene! And there you go! Well, actually, she doesn't have that bad of an outfit. Usually my toddlers have the kind of bend a bear outfit. Heidi just grew up from a baby to a toddler. Cool. And Jack used a vacation day, so he also earned some money. Cool. 
And there you go, we have Heidi. I might change her hair because I think it's a little bit too long for a toddler. She wants to learn how to talk and she wants to spend time with both her parents and she's afraid that Diego is going to die, but this is going to happen, I'm sorry. And the only thing she needs is sleep. So let's go and grab a plate. Well, I don't think Jack is going to manage to get a couple more friends today, but Lucy might be able to get that more, that one friend that she needs. Uh, can we hug? Maybe we can do a friendly hug. I know you're tired, just talk about travels. Look at all the things they can talk about. Let's go and chat. And let's have, let's have Jack maybe change Heidi's appearance. I'd like to check for some hairs. And can we plan an everyday outfit for Heidi? All right, are you friends with Sharon? Yay, she's friends with Sharon. Okay, so now she needs no more friends. And I guess tomorrow when she'll go to work, she'll be able to get a promotion. That's good news. And Jack apparently ma ma managed to become friends with someone. I don't know with whom he managed to become friends with. Maybe, maybe his daughter now counts as a friend. I don't know. All right, so let's see. All right, I came across this hair, which I really like. So I think I'm going to give her this one. And I really like how she looks. She actually looks very unique compared to the Sims that I usually have in The Sims 2. I'm really curious to see how she's going to look like as a grown up. Yeah, let's go for this hair. Definitely, definitely looks a little bit more realistic to me. But yeah, let me see. What friends did you make? Or maybe because he improved his relationship with Corey? I don't know. That's really strange. But at least, you know, now he only needs one more friend. And I went for Heidi. Oh, she does have this ha outfit in her inventory. Cool. But yeah, I want for her to wear this one. And I wanted to see, at least you know everyone is having a good time, but I really want to see Heidi play in one of those leaf piles before we, we end the part. Well, the party was kind of all over the place, but that usually happens to me when I throw parties in The Sims. I'm really bad at managing parties for some reason. Can you play? Oh no, she can play in those. So we don't need to rake everything. Let's go and just add to compost and add to compost while we look at Heidi playing in those leaves. Look at her. She's having so much fun. She's going crazy in those leaves. How is her hygiene actually? Well, she's really tired, so we should definitely put her to bed. And then I think I'm just going to have Jack go to bed. He's exhausted as well, and everyone is in the house. Jigo is singing along as Sharon is playing the piano. But at least we managed to improve a little bit more their social, and they, they now have almost all of the friends that they need for their career. At least Lucy has all of the friends she needs for her career. Jack just needs one more, one more sim to be friends with. I don't really know who he could be friend. Maybe we, we could try to have him become friends with Sharon or maybe with Natasha. Because I don't think Natasha came, which is really sad. So maybe I should have Lucy invite Natasha over and have Jack socialize a little bit more with her. But apparently he really wants to be friend with Lisa. I don't know why. Because he doesn't really seem to like her that much and she doesn't seem to like him as much as well. But apparently they want to be friends with each other. That's strange. But anyway, while everyone is going crazy in the living room, I'm just going to end this part here. So... Don't forget to leave some baby name suggestions for baby number two. I still have the, the names that you gave me the last time Lucy was pregnant, but if you have some new suggestions, I'd love to hear from you guys. And yeah, the party rocked. Great job, good time. Cool, he got a good reputation, cool. Well, that's nice. I didn't really do a whole lot, so... <laughs> There you go. But yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone.